Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another episode of the Paul or Nothing Experience. If you've tuned in for the last few episodes, you'll know that we've stripped the interior, we've done the rear coilovers and brake rotors, and we're about to get started on the front. We've got a few parts here which we'll go through with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to keep up with the videos. So what we've got here is a set of N15 front lower control arms. So we're doing a front hub lower control arm and brake swap from an N15 triple S pulsar onto this N14 pulsar. We've got our yellow speed coilovers here, which you would have seen in the last video. We've got our DBA T3 club spec rotors, which are also for the N15 pulsar. And we've got a set of street performance DBA brake pads here. So I've made a bit of a list of all the things that we've got to do. There's plenty to be done. So let's get stuck into it today. In case you've just tuned in and you're wondering why we're going to all this effort on a Nissan Triple S Pulsar, we're preparing this car for the APRA racing series. We're upgrading the coilovers, brakes, getting wheels, tires, putting in a new clutch and just doing a general overhaul just to make sure it's track ready and the plan is to race three or four races this season. So we have the coil over installed on this side. We did end up unwinding just a little bit extra just so that the existing brake lines lined up a bit better even though when I change the hub they may be slightly different. I'm, we'll even probably get brake, brake lines before we hit the track. So, But for now, we're just gonna put it together with what we've got. I'm going to get started on the left-hand side and rip that sway bar out. It's missing a component as well as I'll probably get a different one, but I will just check which one that is. And we'll go from there. I'm just gonna measure what we ended up with here between those two adjusters and we'll get the other one set up. Once we stuck this coil over up, we had to undo these four Allen key bolts here just to adjust it so that they fit dead center with this strut top hole here. So I'm just going to adjust the other one so that it should be a bit easier when we install the passenger side. As you'll see, they came installed all the way to one side. So once I break those four loose, this is where the, the pivot comes from for the camber adjustment. Alright, let's get stuck into this passenger side. There was a little plastic clip that we had to remove here, which holds some of the battery power harness and stuff. And there we have it. all four coilovers installed. Uh, this one here is just buttoned up to the original hub still. Uh, once I rebuild the other ones, which will be in this video, um, we'll get them swapped over and do the lower control arms. I've undone a bolt down here for the front sway bar. Just got four bolts under the car and I'll pull that out. And we'll go from there. Been doing a bit of work off camera here, guys. We've just taken the front bar off and uh, we finally found our little friend. I had a feeling that he would be here. He's right there. Have a look at that big boy. He's been in there a while. Some babies coming, but he's got to go. Quick update on the pulsar we've stripped the front right. Got this all the way back, got the CV out, the lower control arm out. We've still got to rebuild the hub for this side. Um, the other side still has the lower control arm and hub on, which is next. But before I do that, I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean up here. The top of the engine's obviously been cleaned a few times, but there's something going on down here. We need to work out what that is. So I've put down a massive bin liner, a sheet of cardboard, and then an old blanket just to catch any of the oil. Um, not too phased about the driveway. The wife would have a different opinion, but 
we'll um, try our best here. So here on the driver's side, we've got the lower control arms installed. We've gave the engine a really good clean, so now we'll be able to see where any leaks are coming from. Probably we've got a little cleaner, but I'm pretty happy with how that's looking for now. So the driver's side's ready to go. Going tomorrow to do the bearings in the hub, so that I'll be able to put the, the hubs in and then we can start on the brake swap. So this is still the brakes off of the N14. The N15 brakes are in the shed, so got new pads and rotors to go on there as well. Let's give you a quick look around the other side. Lowers are done. Coil overs in. And gave this a bit of a tidy up as well. I've ordered new power steering boots because they're both split, and I'm now looking at the I think these are tie rod ends at the moment, which I'll probably replace as well since I'm here. One of these at home. This one has been kind enough to let me use this to push these hubs and bearings out. Let's give it a go. Alright, so since we don't have the hub removal tool, we've had to get to a pretty ghetto setup here. We've got some chocks to the right, got some plate holding it up on the left. It's pretty much under there, let's send it. Yeah, it should be a bit of stuff right now. Oh, I feel like we're pushing. Are we pushing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't even hear it make a noise, mate. Hey, buddy. You take it home, then you have eight years of being a nuisance like that. I've got my own. I'll just do it from this side now. <laughs> How convenient. That was... that was not easy. But we got it done. Air chisel, freezer, heat, you name it, we tried it, it's done. Let's get these back in the car. Thanks boys. Wobbly as fuck. So the hubs are back on the car. I've connected the steering back up for now. I have just had some packages arrive, so everything's here to rebuild the power steering. I've got new boots and new tie rod ends for that. Um, my Hell Performance braided brake lines have arrived. So we'll get on to putting them on as well. Thank you for watching guys, there will be another video next week. Please like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next video.